Today I am going to show you what we have in our 72 hour emergency bag, also known as bug out bag. with four oaks and today I am going to show you what we have in our 72 hour emergency bag also known as bug out bag what we like to call it is skedaddle sack I can't say the word skedaddle pack something like that skedaddle we like the word skedaddle apparently so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's in ours if you're like me I need visuals I love putting things together but sometimes I need visuals on certain things. I'm a major packer. Every time we go somewhere, I pack like insanely. I get it from my mom. So thank you, mom. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we have kind of put together right now for our skedaddle sacks, Sk bug out bags. I'd also like to mention we are not completely done with our bags. There's a few more things that I need to pick up. Uh, mainly, I want to get some rain pouches. Um, rain pouches? Yeah. Pouch? Pooch? What is that thing called? Rain? Rain poncho. Ah, <laughs> that's right. Rain poncho, not pout. What do I call it? Rain ponchos. And um, a couple other things to add to our bags. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get them started. And I'm going to take inventory of what we have so I know and improve along the way. But it's important for me at this moment. We are in tornado season here in Oklahoma, and though things have been good so far, um, I want to get our packs ready as soon as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them ready now, and then just add to them when I can. Um, so what is a bug out bag, a 72 hour emergency bag, whatever you wanna call it? Well, for us, it's just kind of for the unknown and for tornado season. I will go ahead and days that we possibly could have severe weather or tornadoes, our bags will be ready and in a line for us to grab and leave if we need to. Um, we don't have a storm shelter here in this house. We installed one in the house that we had previously, but this house does not have one, nor have we been able to put one in yet. So that is concerning for this mom who does stay up all night long and watch the storms if they're even halfway close to us. So I wanna go ahead and make sure we have our bags ready for us those nights. Um, we used to have everything down in our storm shelter and it was just kinda nice and easy, but since we don't have one, most likely if it's coming close to us, we're leaving. Like we're not gonna be staying here in this home. We don't have hallways, we don't have inner rooms. So we don't have that. So we will be leaving. That's what we will be doing. But it can mean different things for different people. It could be an earthquake, it could be you know hurricane. I mean, whatever it is, it is nice. Fires, right? Fires are a big thing right now, especially in areas that droughts are huge and fire season is horrible. In certain places so it's nice to have your bags ready if you have to go that way you don't have to rush around and try and look for things and try to think last minute what do we need what do we need what do we need um, I don't like living that way <laughs> truthfully as someone who does live with anxiety I don't want to have that feeling I like the feeling of being my, my family is prepared and taken care of so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we have for our bags so far Okay, so my kitchen right now actually looks like a ginormous mess. I'm not even going to show you farther over because I'm in the middle of canning. Here's my pressure canner down here and other things as well. I have like four or five things going on right now, but they're all important. They all need my attention. So um, this is kind of what our food is going to look like. I put the person's name on it, and this is just day one. So um, Ryan day one plus jerky so the jerky that I have in here let me turn it around um, I don't know if you can see any better it is vacuum sealed and it is for three days of food mainly in the evening um, so when after the first day they say we got to open this up the first day I have clips on here that I will probably put in my bag. I don't want to puncture my vacuum seal or anything else, but that way we can close them up and go. 
So each person has a bag. Our bags, oh, I can't really see them. Hello. Our bags are over there, and I'll get to our stuff in just a minute. But this is what it looks like. So that's day one. This is going to be day two for each person. So I have it kind of broken up. So I basically have this for breakfast, premier shake, and some fig bar in almonds. Lunch is going to be a beef stick. This, um, that's it bar. So fruits, apples and blueberries, and applesauce. Like we're trying to stay away from sugar as much as possible, even in an emergency situation. We're not perfect. These have sugar in them, but it's okay. And then for the evening, I have this, um, another one of these bars, and cashews, along with the beef jerky from the first day. Um, that kind of goes the same with everyone. It kind of got messed up here, but I kind of just have it set up for everyone. And then this is day three. So I have two premier shakes here and, um, oh my, and I did put another, oh, another, that's it for breakfast. One of those, um, apples and strawberries and then applesauce and peanuts. And I do have another beef stick here and in the evening time it will be so this will be day three it will be another fig bar a that's it bar and almonds plus any beef jerky that we have left and that is our day three um food right here and then our day two and then i have day one in here and basically it's a premier shake um and then i have applesauce another that's it bar beef stick beef jerky and um, cashews right there and another fig bar that's what that is right there so that's what our bags look like I'm gonna go ahead and put everything else in bags um, and label them day two with our names and things like that so that's just what we have for our food I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the boys are gonna have in their bags for clothes and other things so we have two changes of clothes in here um, pants and shorts um, Depends on how much I can fit in there. Well, we're gonna see. Um, I do have a mask. Not saying we're um, gonna need it, but just in case, you know, fire season. I don't know, right? Who knows? Um, so a mask. I have some Pepto Bismol in there in case there's an issue. Um, this right here, I'm gonna show you Ryan's because he doesn't have it in a case. Is this? Um, what are these things called, honey? Oh, a pocket tool that we got at Cabela's. So Ryan has orange. I have everything color coordinated for each person, or at least I know whose colors are what. Jacob's is green, and mine is purple, and Dan has a big one. So we also got these headlights. I got them for a dollar at Walmart, and I was like, you know, they're kind of cheap, but I think I'm gonna do is look into getting another set of batteries for them. I don't know. So they're only a dollar, so I'm not going to cry if they go out, but whatever. I have some extra batteries, and these batteries go in this. And it's a lantern and that we got at Cabela's. I wish I could remember the price on them. Jay, do you remember the price? Were they like ten dollars or a little more than ten dollars? I'm thinking. And then I did label them um, with the boys' names. That way there's no fighting, right? We don't want fighting in emergency situations. And the same with this. This is a personal water filter. And um, when we're, if we have to use them, which I pray that we don't have to use them, but if we have to use them, they, we will. They will go back in the box and they're labeled. So, um, all right. Um, and then don't cringe at this, please. This is, you know, we know what that is. So I'm just going to put that back there. Um, and matches and then I did pick up a pack of these for our family um, there's eight of them in there and they're just glow sticks and I know that it kind of seems you know interesting right who wants glow sticks in their survival bag well when you have kids you want things to be fun as well in a stressful situation you want peace and calm as much as possible and you want some nor um, it to feel as normal as possible so it's just something to kind of you know, light up our bracelet or red, light up our wrist while, you know, we're out. Um, and then we do have one of these like Mylar blankets. We have three of them. We don't know what happened to our fourth one. So we just have one here for now. And then Ryan's is pretty much the same thing. Um, extra batteries, a headlamp, a mask, 
you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is for our dog, which, oh, I need to reseal it. I must have popped a seal, which I've noticed lately on my food saver bags that they are not sealing, which I'm kind of disappointed because they're super expensive. And, <sighs> all right, that's frustrating. But this is for our dog, Oki, and it's three days worth of food for him. He does not eat a lot. He's a small dog, and it also has dog treats in there because he wants dog treats too. All right, so this is kind of Dan and I's bags as well. So this is where our day one bag of food is. This is not going, this is something I just came. And um, we have some flushable wipes. We do not use these personally in our home because they're horrible for your septic system and the sewer, but they're, you I mean they wash you, right? So we're gonna, we got some of those. I have in my bag, so Dan has pretty much the same thing as me in his bag. Just in case, for whatever reason, Dan and I get separated um, we both have the same thing in each in each bag. So we have toothbrushes, like it already has the toothpaste in there, so you don't need water. I have my deodorant. Um, I'm a natural deodorant person, and I just put it in a little um, what is this thing called? Just a little container that I had because um, my, it melted. It melted. <laughs> it, it, this is what I had in my storm shelter, and it melted, so I just put it in a container. Um, some Tums and Harbor Medicine because that is the worst. I have a purple headlamp. Oh, the boys also, um, batteries for my lantern. Matches, waterproof matches. My water purifier. A, one of those Mylar blankets. Something for cuts to stop bleeding. Um, my pocket tool, which is purple, right? Yes, mine's purple. My green, um pain reliever because you don't want to be stuck with a horrible headache and if we don't have coffee that might be the case some sunblock some ibuprofen I do have more sunblock here I want to get a small container for all of us but until I can get that we're I'm just going to put this in my bag we do have a whistle some antibacterial wipes a garbage bag and here is my first aid kit and that just obviously has normal stuff band-aids wraps you know all that kind of normal stuff so these are my gloves, and then this is my husband's stuff. So basically, it's the exact same stuff. He has his deodorant. Um, he has just Tylenol and ibuprofen. This is his sunblock, and we also have this sunblock for him as well. His first aid kit, um, you know, same stuff. These are his gloves right here. Um, I do have some wraps. I, I need to probably put this in my husband's. There, Here's my clothes and my husband's clothes in there. And then water. Water is going to be so important. See, we have these personal water filters, but uh, you, yeah, let's just, you never know, right? Um, so we do have some water and it's not a lot of water because water is heavy and I might need to figure out something else, but for now this is all I have and in our water if we want I have I picked up these sugar-free low calorie energy um, like blueberry flavor in it so it has caffeine so it could help with a headache if you have a headache from lack of caffeine or coffee but so Dan and I both have that the boys have these ones where they're true lemon for kids and they're blue raspberry and um, they like those all right so a couple things um, I got some sugar-free Jolly Ranchers. They're so obviously got to be sh careful with sugar-free candy. But I'm gonna help go ahead and just put one for each day in our um, meal bags because you know you want something sometimes. Like it goes back to that whole normalcy and comfort and just you know everything's okay in the world even though things might be a little chaotic. Um, we have some Uno, Crazy Eights. Oh, I just lost it. This go fish, yeah, go fish. I'll fix that in a second. Um, I, another just normal cards, and then extra um, uh, flashlights and batteries. So that's what I have. I'm not sure if I'll bring all of this, and this probably will not go in our skedaddle bags, skedaddle packs, skedaddle satches, whatever you want to say. Um, I'll probably have another bag of this off to the side. And it will be one of those things that I'm willing to leave if I have to. Like, it doesn't need to come with us. Okay, so as I told you before, our bags are not complete, right? But um, that 
is something that we're going to continue to work on but for now we're going to have what we have available and like you saw some things labeled I label things I love labels I mean that's part of the whole like anxiety like I have to have things labeled and it's kind of crazy but it helps you be able to know who's is who's so there is no fighting there is no miscommunication the last thing that you need when you are in a stressful stressful situation is to have little things cause tension right so you need to have clear heads um, kind hearts and just be willing to help each other and the last thing you need to do is fight over whose lantern is whose and whose water filter straw is whose I mean we're just not going to do that so I did label things uh, the lighting is probably bad but these are our backpacks so this is Dan's that's mine Jay's and Ryan's Ryan's bag I'm just going to use what we have so far so we have two bags two bags that the boys already had and then I did pick up two for Dan and I because his backpack broke and I haven't had a backpack since pretty much high school or college so um, this is what we have I will probably along the way try and get two more bags for the boys just because they do use their backpacks for things and I, they need to have them but for now I'm just gonna have them ready so for now we're just gonna use the backpacks that they have and then I will when I can put it in our budget I'll go ahead and grab a couple more for them that way they have bags for their normal stuff and then we have bags for emergency situations all right that is it so far I'm gonna go ahead and get our bags put together I hope everything fits in it so I got everything in our bags the lighting is horrible right now but the boys' bags are here and that stands in mine I mine was tough I had to put my lantern I unhooked it and I just hooked it on the side <laughs> Um, I had to move things around. My husband's is right here on the side. I might hook his somewhere different, but that's where his is for now. Thanks, Ryan. And then that's Jay's and Ryan's. I don't know why yours would be heavier. They have the exact same things in them. I don't know. <laughs> Daddy and Mommy's has more. Like we have more first aid and things like that one thing i did not think about and i don't know why i didn't think about this is i did not get bug spray um i know i have bug spray here in my house but it's a big you know can of it where i make up our own bug spray with essential oils and i guess i could do that and just put it in a little i don't know we'll see but i'll probably pick up some more bug spray here soon and put it in there Anything else that you can think of? Camping! Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what he's thinking of right now is camping. Because they're going camping, so. Um, okay, so a couple things that I did think about getting in our food supply was like bagged can of fish or bagged chicken. Um, I don't know. I, I think possibly I'm going to think about that and maybe grab a couple for one day. I've seen people, um, I know you can do things like, uh, you know, already made up Chef Boyardee, things like that, but we don't eat that food in this house. We don't like it. So I'm not going to buy stuff that we do not eat, but we don't like. Um, but I might possibly add some chicken, like shredded chicken to it. We'll see. But I do want to say that I just think that um, it's important to be prepared to have something for emergencies. We've all been in situations where either we lose power, um, there's fires, tornadoes, threats, hurricanes, right? It's important to have something available, even for the unexpected. So as a mom, that's something that's important to me, is to make sure that my family is well taken care of and prepared for whatever we can possibly think of to prepare for. So that is the purpose of this video, is to kind of give ideas of what you could put in your bug out bag, your skedaddle satch, whatever you want to call it, and just kind of maybe bring some peace and comfort to you as a mom and to your family, knowing that you have something available for them and for yourself to grab on the way out the door if the situation is not safe right if you have any suggestions any kind of ideas that you can give to me I know that there's so much more that you can add to these type of bags I don't know if I will ever get there we are just gonna do what we can to 
be prepared. So if you have any suggestions or any helpful comments or tips, I would love to hear about them below. And once again, thanks for watching. And if you like these videos and you want to see more of them because they're kind of fun, right? Um, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.